What's going on, buddy? My name is Zilla Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, I got the latest episode of Hell of a Boss for you, and I am two days late on recording this, and this goes up on Tuesday. So I'm kind of two days behind, at least when I'm recording this. And so I've seen, like, images pop up on the internet, so I, I tried to ignore them as much as possible. I didn't click on any of them. All I know is that something happened in today's episode, and Stryker is back. We haven't seen Stryker since episode five. That was like two years ago now. It, it feels like two years ago. But anyway, we're just here to get right into today's episode because I'm really excited. I have been waiting for another episode of Hello Boss for almost two months since I got my computer back on. And I also know that a episode of Murder Drones is currently in the works. So maybe we'll get that next month. But anyway, I'm not going to delay any further. We're just going to get right into this in three, two, one. One boom. I'm excited. Really wish I watched the pilot episode though. That's the only thing. That's the only episode on here we have not reacted to. Stella. Now it's Stella. After the divorce. Which? Oh. <laughs> Fuck it, imp sucker! Why did you insist on meeting me here? Ahem, we wanted to properly discuss the terms of this divorce. I feel my dog oh, they haven't. deserves a bit more compensation. After all, you did cheat on the poor thing. Surely you owe. And Drielfus, cheating implies there was a betrayal. This woman never gave two shits about me or our very much arranged marriage. As far as I'm concerned, this divorce is far overdue. Uh -oh. Oh, yours. Stella, for fuck's sake, stop making this harder to bullshit. Oh. Stryker, here's Stryker. <laughs> oh god. Oh. oh dear, this is worrisome. Now, shit stole this. It's really not a good time, buddy. I'm sorry it's a bad time yet again, Blitzy, but um, I is... seem to have found myself in a bit of a sitch. I'm tied on the back of a horse at the moment. <laughs> Lucky bitch. Uh, well, no, rather unlucky. I seem to have been stolen by that little cowboy friend of yours. Oh, uh, which one? How many cowboys do you know? <laughs> what does he look like, your highness? Sexy? That's Striker, sir. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, can't you just get away? Aren't you powerful? I believe he has me bound with blessed rope, which limits my ability to free myself, I'm afraid. So I think you should come save me. Ah, oh, shit, Stolas, I can't today. Wait, if he has limited power because he has because of the rope, then how is it he was able to free his arm and call Blitz? Also, why is Luna freaking out? She looked like she was about to have a heart attack. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm literally on my way to take Luna in for her very important Helby's S-H-O-T. And it takes years to book an appointment at this place. It took five for me to get this one, so, you know, and, and she's been doing a lot of field work, so, you know, she needs it. Oh, haha. -ha. well, okay. I do agree, that is very important, but I... Would you shut up already? I can hear you, by the way. Don't yeah. worry about your lanky birdie. He's in good hands. <laughs> oh, shit. Am I in danger right now? <laughs> <laughs> Meme! Sir, let me and Moxie handle this one. Okay, are you too sure that you got this alone? We can do it, sir. Together, we are a lethal combo. And we both have a score to settle with that dickhead. All right, well, hurry. Solo sounds like he might be in real shit this time. And knowing that guy's aesthetic, my money's that he's in rap. Now get your ass down there and look for some cowboy crap or something. Okay. What Come is on, it? Looney. Surgical Come on, Looney. Come on, this will be over. Lick and he split, all right? Wait. I'm stupid feathered ass kidnapped. I have waited five fucking years for this appointment. Fuck me in my little red hole. Oh, my. <laughs> Hi, right, the fuck you looking at? <laughs> hey, toots, I'm here for that uh, S H O T for my knee to knee. Oh, shot. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, the B U L L shit that my daughter has to get every year that U M O T H E R. F 
fuckers only allow us to schedule every five years. How the fuck you fuck up that bad anyway, titty haver? Oh, I can't spell. I can't read either. The hell bees shot, you fucking really can't say that word anymore. The appointment is under what, blitz. What word? Um, I don't see any blitz on the list. With an O. It's silent, you fucking... Oh, an O. Right here. Yep, yep. Blitzo. Blitzo. Yes, well, we will be ready for her in just a bit. Please take a seat, Mr. O. Her. <laughs> okay. Where is Luna? Oh. oh, don't worry, Looney. It's okay. It's just one little prick. You won't feel it. Ew, don't say that. It sounds vulgar. Excuse me. Pervert. Okay. <laughs> Going out west. Have you seen a help? Help song. Never mind. Even the cat, I know his name. If you don't want to die, don't cross his path. The best assassin in the ring of wrath. He's Striker. He's Striker. Sure shooting, darn tootin'. His name is Striker. Gonna bring that bird back to his lair. With his magic rope and his western flame. He's very good at causing pain. And he loves to ride on the choo choo. I think this is. Stealing. He's a villain striker. He's fast and strong and tall and mean. The foulest in the legs up so high. He break your bones to hear him cry. He likes to eat as he goes. He's striker. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's gonna shoot you. Striker. He's striker. He's shut the fuck up. I'm trying to do my fucking job. You coming in here singing about me for the million fucking time? Leave me the hell alone, you freaks! <laughs> okay, I gotta say that was probably my favorite song of the whole show so far. <laughs> and I've never seen Stryker lose his shit. I think that was my favorite part so far of the episode. How does one get their own theme song? <laughs> So, yeah, nice weather we're having, huh? Look, Mommy! They let fire toads in here! The fuck did you just call me? It's not polite to call them that to their face, honey. Wait until we're in the car. You got a problem with me? <gasps> oh. There is a child present, you filthy Rathian! Oh, I am not from Rath, bitch. Also, my kid's here, too, and I don't think she would appreciate you calling her father... ...things! Is there any way we can reschedule for a time when less of the unemployed rabble are out? Oh, please. I bet the hardest work you ever done is convincing your husband that little shit's his. Oh, oh. yeah? What do you do? That's so important. Me? Oh, <laughs> I kill people. How does a two-for-one special sound, whore? Mr. O, the doc will see your hound now. Okay. <laughs> Never seen Luna like I'll this. I'll grab the gas, Millie. Go and see if anyone's seen Stryker anywhere. Hey, queer boy! You stealing my hat? What? Same hat! Oh, sorry, my wife just put this hat on my head. You know, because it was hot outside. Uh, same hat. <sighs> so we're doing this, huh? Howdy, boy! <laughs> This motherfucker riding around here. No, 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 singing. Just a yes or no, <laughs> Look at him in the boxy in the background. Bad man lands in the old train tunnel near the mine shafts. Very outlaw aesthetic. You can't miss it. Thank you kindly. Come on, Mox, we got a lead. Ooh, okay, that guy's dead. And they're all dead. The fact that Moxie can hold his own sometimes just really shows. I, ju I tend to forget how much of a badass Moxie can be. We just don't see it that often. So, my wife paid you for this, hmm? 
Wouldn't a holy bullet have sufficed? Or could you not afford those? <laughs> I was paid to give you the real royal treatment. Your wife must really hate you. <laughs> you have no idea. So, train tracks? Really? Seems a bit cliche, doesn't it? It's a classic. Is the giant statue of yourself also a classic, or...? <laughs> Didn't notice that. <laughs> Are you seriously judging me right now? I'm just impressed. You seem to want to suck your own dick this badly. <laughs> <laughs> Not every ring is some fancy ass city with some fancy ass match that only. Oh, I, I understand what he just said. I didn't notice the statue. <laughs> that part of the statue was there for like a split second. Yes, royals get to live in. Some of us <laughs> have hard lives to live, and some of us have everything we care about taken away by fuckers like you. I have no. <laughs> Ooh. You don't get to talk over me. I don't have to listen to your bullshit. All oh. the royals ever do is try to talk over us. <laughs> don't bother trying your little eye trick on me. Those robes ain't gonna let you do anything. Got something to say about that? Your highness. Uh, well, you seem to be forgetting. You are working for a royal right now! Blitz handles me like <laughs> that in bed. Nice try. Okay. Blitz's knife is bigger and hits so much deeper. Being a smart ass, hmm? Because once I split your neck open and let you choke on your own blue blood, you won't be worth any more than the tombstone you'll be buried under. Blitzy says far dirtier things to me with much sharper objects at my throat. I think he's just messing with him at this point. Welcome, Bingo. And this must Bingo. be Tuna. Luna, yeah, and you can hurry up, please. She's a fan of shots, so let's try and make this quick for all of our sakes. Oh, come now. It can't be that bad. I see hellhounds every day, and there hasn't been one that has caused any issue. Wow, that is a big needle. Honestly, I agree, Luna. I agree. Yep, right there. Told you, dipshit. <laughs> so, earlier... That assassin was that you? Mm, guilty, yes, it was. You silly minx. So who is this guy, and why does he look like Pearl? His head shape from Steven Universe. Am I the only one that's gonna be thinking that? I haven't seen other people's reactions yet, so I must be the only person that makes that comparison. <laughs> Though you know, if your husband dies. It won't turn out well for you. He'll be dead! Why wouldn't it? Because, my dear sister, you've already produced an heir. When he dies, his duties, his possessions, his allegiance, it will all pass to Via. So, if you kill him, you would... Hmm? Laugh? <laughs> no, you stupid cow! You did nothing! <sighs> You're so lucky you're attractive. Oh, well, what do you propose we do? He won't leave me anything willingly. He hates me almost as much as I hate him. Hmm, well, this kind of situation is extremely unique. A Goetia has never behaved like this before. But with him alive, we have options, opportunities. Eternity is a long time, my dear. I say we bide our time. And wait for the chance to I don't think she's gonna buy her time. I think she just wants Stola's dead right now. Gain the upper hand. <laughs> oh, but I want him dead so badly. And he will be in time, my fiery vixen. But patience first. No, call off your mangy stray. <laughs> well, this is Ooh. fun. But every good thing has to come to an end. Shame you won't see your kid again. Don't you dare breathe a word about my daughter. Ooh, finally hit a nerve, huh? I swear, if you go near her, I will destroy you. Big talk. But just that. Any last words, Goisha? Let's. <laughs> will. That rodeo clown told you he ain't coming. No 
Somebody is coming. Hello? Change of plans, darling. I need the prick alive. What? <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of killing him. Well, stop it. We need him alive to get some affairs in order. I will pay you more to spare him and bring him to us. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Glorious. <laughs> he is not happy. Well, good news for you, Feathers. Your royal <sighs> says she don't want you dead no more. <sighs> but she didn't say what condition you had to be in. I think these reds might be a pretty trophy. Can't have you seeing me again, can we? Wait a second. Oh, here they come. Oh. <laughs> Not what I expected. <laughs> I see. Is this an actual song, or is this a song they made? Oh yeah, that's right, Millie and uh, Striker never had a proper fight. Okay. <laughs> no way that was going to be over just like that. I don't know if these are actual songs or they or they made them for this episode. Ooh. Get it over with. Oh God, Moxie. Remember how easy you are to choke the life out of, little one. Oh, harder. What the fuck? Okay. Oh. Is this the end of Striker? Oh, fuck. No. Oh, crumbs! We have to get him to a hospital! <laughs> oh, good. You guys actually managed to. Oh. <laughs> Poor Blitz. <clears throat> uh, sir? Are you okay? Oh, Peachy! Yeah, no, today's been wonderful! What the fuck was that about? Stolas got hurt bad. Stolas got what? <laughs> Ow. He can get hurt? What? I've never seen Blitz. It's, like, it's been a while since we've seen Blitz like that. Who's calling him? Is it Blitz?
Wow. I don't know how to think. <laughs> we haven't seen Blitz act so caring in such a long time. He was genuinely concerned about Solus's condition. Also, poor Luna, by the way. That was a much deeper episode than I was expecting. Like, action-packed and everything else, but that ending, it, it just reminded me of the season one finale. That's what it was, that's exactly where my mind went. To the season one finale, where Blitz was looking at his phone, looking at his family and his friends, and all, every, all the people he'd driven away from his, his life. But that was a really deep episode. Um, so, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.